Hey, 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 Pisces. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aquari Aquarius, Pisces. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I do appreciate it and thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. And please click on that link if you are interested as there are tarot card impersonators running about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that will be yours to utilize forever here on YouTube. Alright, don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, so you have Pisces, the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. I'm hearing somebody's being ostracized. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know why. And this is the, the Four of Cups. I don't know what that's about, but I do feel that there is an opportunity for you here that's coming at you. I do feel it's a love opportunity, but I feel that you may be caught up in this being ostracized for something that you may miss this. So don't allow outside influences to shift your energy away from awareness around you, okay? Let's, let's clarify. I feel like you're, you're on your way. I don't know what you're doing here. You're doing something exciting. I just don't know what it is yet with the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Four of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles. I really hope you see this opportunity. Because I feel like it, it is somebody, right? Let me get some more cards. But this will develop slowly, this uh, love relationship. Six of Cups. So, definitely a soulmate. Now, it could be somebody from your past. Venus is, I think, is it retrograde yet? Um, but, I don't know. The Six of Cups, I'm feeling more soulmate. Nine of Pentacles. So, this could be an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You do have the Knight of Pentacles over here. So, that's that slowness. I feel that. It's going to develop slowly but surely, though. Because I feel like the basis of this is going to be friendship. Which is the way that it should be. To tell you the truth, but let's see. Can I have a kipper on this one? Occupation. You may meet this person at their place of work or through your work. Poverty. Hmm. You've got to make sure that's that ostracization. Ostra being ostracized. <laughs> okay, can't say it. I don't know. You you feel that there's a lack somewhere, and this is that, you know, being careful not to miss this opportunity as it comes towards you and as it's being presented to you. Because I feel like your awareness needs to fully be there in order for you to take this opportunity, take advantage of it. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. So this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. 
Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Queen of Wands. Oh boy. Okay, somebody may come back from your past. Okay. And I feel like this is Queen of Wands. So you may be dealing with this Queen of Wands <clears throat> when this Queen of Pentacles comes back. I when you're going to be dealing with this Queen of Wands when this Queen of Pentacles arrives, this soulmate arrives. Hmm. You you there Okay. This awareness Make sure that you're giving this Queen of Pentacles your undivided attention when you're with them. Okay, because you truly are soulmates here. And I don't feel that the Queen of Wands change has... I, I feel like they just want to have fun. That, that's what I'm feeling. <clears throat> with the Queen of Wands... So it, it's like, yeah, great fortune. This is this is very fortunate for you if you are able to recognize this Pisces, okay? Hmm. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Justice. There's that decision you need to make between the two. Two of Wands. You need to listen to your intuition. You're going to be feeling uh, the star. You're going to be reflecting back on this Queen of Wands person from the past when they come back. And it may have been that they had a third party. And you're going to be taking that into consideration here. Because you're reassessing your wishes. You're reassessing your desires in love. When this happens, journey. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is going to invite you somewhere. On a journey. But I feel like, see, this is why I say it's going to start off as friendship. I feel like it's going to be based on friendship when you take this journey but you're going to have a lot of fun you're going to really click with them you're going to have a lot in common and that is where that connection that soul connection is going to come alive and you're going to feel it tell me about this knight of pentacles judgment yeah. yep that's when you're going to realize this. Three of Pentacles. You're going to realize this is what I want to build. This is my foundation. Foundation of love is friendship. And you're going to realize this. You're going to want it. The High Priestess. Your intuition is going to be screaming at you. And I don't feel you're going to take this Queen of Wands back. I feel you're going to go with this Queen of um, Pentacles. Despair. You're not going to be in that for long because I feel like when you take this journey, expectation, you're going to talk to this person, mature woman, about this situation when you're on your journey. You're going to tell them about this past person, but you're also going to tell them that you're not advancing that any further. This is a very solid relationship, a solid soul connection. Yes. Advice for Pisces. Advice. Page of Swords. Look within. Do that inner research, okay, about your desires, about what it is that you want. Ace of Pentacles. Look in your heart and take the opportunity this is new love. This is new opportunity. And this is what Spirit's saying. Take it. Take on the new. 
You deserve it, Pisces. You deserve a break today. Recharge. When the pace of life becomes too hectic, know to slow down, be mindful, and go with the flow. So try to just go with the flow, okay? So whatever it is that's, that's you know, getting your attention, try to stay in the flow. Try not to get distracted by too many things, okay? Outside influences. And let's get an angel number for Pisces. 1111, I am awakening. The universe is arranging people and experiences on your path to help you succeed and helping you wake up to who you truly are. Yes, they're arranging this person to be on your path. So wake up, all right? All right, Pisces, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have not if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on that link in the description box if you are interested as there are many tarot card impersonators running about the community and know that when you you order a reading from me you will always see my face on video as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on youtube to your reading don't forget to comment i want to hear from you guys and hit the notification bell that way you get notified whenever i upload a video or go live have a great day pisces and i'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies namaste